Hi, it's the Frugal Chef. I want to make some chicken marsala today. This is a really easy, cheap recipe, and it's very elegant because of the marsala and, you know, and the uh, mushrooms. So let's make this. It's quick, it's easy, and it's delicious. Okay, so come on over. Let me show you what we're going to need for this. Okay, uh, this recipe, of course, we're going to use chicken. These are two skinless, boneless chicken breasts that I'm going to rinse, pat dry. I'm going to cut them thin, and then I'm going to pound them down and, uh, and get them ready. We'll fry them in a little butter. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to dredge our chicken, once it's nice and thin, in some flour. But before that, I'm going to add to this flour, I'm going to add paprika, oregano, thyme, uh, garlic, and uh, some cayenne pepper. Okay, so we're going to mix all this together, and then we're going to dredge our chicken in it, and then fry it in butter. Okay, so we have 12 mushrooms here that I sliced. Okay, as you can see, they're not perfectly white because I have them left over in my refrigerator. I am the frugal chef, so I don't throw anything away, right? Perfect uh, opportunity to make this dish. We're going to fry this in butter, and they will brown up, and it doesn't matter. They're perfect. You can use any mushrooms you want, by the way, for this recipe. So I've rinsed and, and pat, you know, pat dried my chicken breasts, okay? So now I'm going to slice them. And, and then we'll pound them. They don't have to be super thin. You do want to have a sharp knife, by the way. Yeah, what's a cook's worst enemy? A, sh a knife that doesn't cut. <laughs> so we're just going to cut these, you know, into little, we want them to be little cutlets. Um, like that, see? And now I'm going to do the same with the rest. And I'll pound them, and then we'll dredge them. So two breasts. You got six pieces. You know, get rid of the ex, you know, the little fat here. You don't want that. Uh, this piece, maybe no. I'll just flatten that. Okay. So I'll do the same with the next one. I'll be right back. Okay. So now for the fun part, we're gonna pound our chicken. I call this my distressing time. Okay. It's when I remember all those people I want to pound. No, no, no. Just kidding. So uh, you, you want to pound your chicken so that, you know, you have about an eighth of an inch. Okay. You want a thin piece, which you will later dredge whoop, in the flour. There you go. So see, now you have a nice piece of, of uh, a filet, it's nice and thin, and it's, it's big. So, you know, two, two breasts of chicken, you're gonna be able to feed three people or four people, you know? And, I mean, that is cheap with 12 mushrooms, wow! So, uh, so I want you to do that with all of the filets, okay? I have three quarter cup of, uh, of flour here, just plain old flour, and I'm adding, uh, one fourth teaspoon cayenne, one fourth teaspoon paprika, one and a half teaspoon garlic powder, one fourth teaspoon thyme, and one teaspoon oregano. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just mix these and I'm just going to add them to the flour. Okay, and I do want to season my flour with, uh, with, with salt and pepper. Okay, so I will do that really quickly. And remember that these recipes are at thefrugalchef.com, the place where you get cheap, easy, quick, frugal, delicious, nutritious meals. And you can download and print these recipes very easily. So see, now all I did was mix my flour with my spices. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to put two tablespoons of butter in my, in my uh, iron cast skillet here. Um, it's been heating already because I want this to... Uh, to um, melt fairly fast okay i don't want to burn my butter okay i just want it to melt so be careful with that and in order to prevent it from burning we're going to add a little bit of olive oil to it okay so that uh our, our butter doesn't burn so just a little bit of olive oil and there you go now that that butter is melted i'm going to go ahead and dredge my chicken in the flour so all i'm going to do is put my chicken in the flour and and quick you know, take off the excess into the butter. That's it. Guys, come on. This is simple, simple, simple. And here we go. One more time into the butter. Okay. What we want is we want this to brown on both sides and then we're going to take it out. We want to keep those little brown bits of the chicken inside our pan so that when we cook our mushrooms and they're nice and brown and we add our marsala and our chicken stock, 
we will go ahead and, uh, and, and uh, scrape off those little brown bits, which are delicious. Okay? Okay. All right. So we have our six pieces of, uh, of chicken in the butter here, and we're just going to wait for them to brown. Please don't be turning around, flipping, flipping. Just let it be. Let it cook. Let it do its thing. Okay, be patient, because then you're going to end up with a really, really nice piece of meat. Okay? All right. So now it's time to flip. See, these are nice and brown. Check it out. They are so nice. So now we're going to flip them with our tongs. Okay. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. That is nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So now we're going to let the other side brown, too. So uh, I had a total of about three minutes on the other side. So we'll do another three minutes on this side. You know, you don't want to serve uh, raw chicken, but don't worry about it because now we're going to, this is going to cook in the sauce for a little while. So you don't want to cook it all the way through but uh, brown it nicely so that, you know, the final result is going to be delicious. Okay, so let's, uh, let's finish browning this, okay? Okay, so look at this. Now our chicken is cooked, so we're going to remove it onto our plate here because now we're going to brown our mushrooms, okay? So, oh, this is beautiful. I wish you could smell this. It's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so here we go. We have our last little piece of chicken. I'm going to add a little more butter to my pan because it's a little dry, you know. So I've got about two more tablespoons of butter here. So while that's melting, I'm going to go ahead and add my mushrooms. Now, we want our mushrooms to get nice and brown. So we're going to let them cook for a few, you know, for about uh, seven, eight minutes until they are nice and brown. And then once they're brown, we're going to go ahead and uh, bring in the, the marsala and the, and the chicken broth and put back the chicken and let it cook for a few minutes and we're done, right? Okay, so uh, I'm browning these mushrooms. I want them to get golden brown. And remember, we talked about our little brown bits. So I'm, I'm, uh, I, I am scraping those from the bottom of the pan. We don't want to lose those. We don't want them to burn either, you know. We don't want the flour to burn. But most importantly, we don't want to lose the flavor. The flavor is very, very good, okay? So uh, I am going to go ahead and, and season my mushrooms with a little salt and pepper so that we can, uh, we can get that seasoned as well. So a little salt and a little pepper, okay? Look, my mushrooms are ready. And look at this, they're nice and golden. They've rendered all their moisture. This is awesome. They, they smell wonderful. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Okay, so now I'm ready to, to make my sauce. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my marsala. Okay, now I really want to get all, everything that's on my pan, all those little bits, okay? And that was three quarters cup marsala, and now I'm going to add one cup of, uh, of chicken broth. Oh, and I'm getting a, a marsala steam bath here. Oh, delicious. I'll be, <laughs> I'm going to be happy at dinner time. Okay, so here goes the chicken stock, okay? And now all I have to do is add my chicken to this and let it just heat through, cook for a few minutes, and dinner's ready. Okay. All right, so look, our, our, our sauce is coming to a simmer. It started boiling and I lowered the heat. We don't want it to be in a rolling boil. And you know, what's gonna make this thick is, of course, the flour that we dredge our chicken in. It's not gonna make it thick. It's just gonna uh, make it less liquid, okay? And once, once we're done cooking this for a few minutes, we're gonna go ahead and add a little more butter to it, more butter. <laughs> And, and I will re-season it with salt and pepper, okay, before we, before we start, uh, before we serve, I mean. Okay, so this is done. It's done. It's been cooking for about five minutes, like we said. I'm just going to add a dab of butter in here and melt it, okay? And I will add a little more um, salt and pepper. And we're, we will plate this with some mashed potatoes. And oh, you know what? Everybody's going to think I've been cooking all day, making this super elegant dinner. And you guys saw we cooked it in a few minutes, and it's delicious, and it's frugal. And don't forget, frugalchef.com, that's the home of the nutritious, delicious food. So I'm going to go ahead and put some salt and pepper on this. And a little mix. There you have it. We're ready to eat. Bon appetit from the frugalchef.com.